Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Zegan. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon and my practice specializes in hip and knee replacement surgery. When a patient comes to see me, it's usually because they're having hip or knee problems. And my job is to figure out for each individual patient what the problem is and diagnose it and then formulate a treatment plan for that individual patient. For some patients, this means cortisone injection, physical therapy, or anti-inflammatory medications. But for some patients, they require surgical intervention. And that's where my practice is focused on. In my opinion, the most significant advancement in hip replacement surgery in the last several years has been the use of the direct anterior hip replacement. In this procedure, we are going through the front of the hip as opposed to the traditional approach, which is going through the back of the hip, where in the traditional approach, we have to split muscles, detach a few tendons, and then reattach things. This has always been historically associated with a higher risk of dislocation, which is one of the things we like to avoid with hip replacement surgery. But with the anterior approach, we're not uh, having to cut any muscles or detach tendons, and patients uh, are able to recover much quicker. I've been very impressed with the results that I've seen in my patients after they've undergone a direct anterior hip replacement. They generally walk quicker, faster, longer, and require less pain medications than patients who are undergoing a more traditional hip replacement. When patients uh, come to me and are told that they need surgery, there's obviously a lot of fear involved. Uh, patients are very unsure about what's going to happen to them, how they're going to recover, what the future holds for them. It's my philosophy and part of my team's philosophy to make sure that every patient feels very comfortable proceeding with surgery and to let them know that myself and the rest of my team are here for them around the clock to make sure that all their needs are being met. This starts from even before the surgery when patients come to our office. We spend a lot of time explaining what's going to happen during the surgery, after the surgery, and during their recovery process. Right after the surgery, we check in on them in the recovery room, uh, in their room every day after the surgery in the hospital, and make frequent calls to them at home to make sure that patients are doing well and if they're having any issues, to let them know that we're here for them to help address those. We see the patients back very frequently here in the office, starting about seven to 10 days after the surgery, and then every few weeks thereafter, and then space things out over the next year so that we're seeing patients um, quite frequently. I tell all my patients that after they have a hip or a knee replacement, we're basically married for life. I'm their doctor and I'm going to look after them and make sure that their hip and knee replacement are being well taken care of so that if any problem should arise, uh, we can identify those before they become a bigger problem and hopefully we'll make sure that that hip and knee last uh, the patient's lifetime.